Good morning guys, I wanted to start this vlog out. It is January 3rd around 11 o'clock this morning. I do apologize for the strange lighting. It's very cold and gloomy outside. There's rain, there's wind, and it's just not permitting for the best lighting, but we're gonna get through it because that's not the point of this vlog. This vlog is going to be very unplanned. I had absolutely no intention of filming this. However, by being on YouTube for the past almost 10 years now, I've used this outlet as a video diary. So you have seen so many different stages of my life. When I first started my channel, I was beginning high school. Then you watched me graduate high school. You watched me go through a couple boyfriends. You watched me go through heartache. Um, whether it be from breaking up with those boyfriends or from losing my dad. You've seen me graduate college. You've seen a new plethora of amazing, amazing. It's gonna get hard for a second. Oh my God, I wasn't gonna cry on camera, woo! Amazing friendships. I have I've gained the most incredible friends in college. I met such a blessed, amazing, well-rounded group of people, and I could not have asked for a better college experience. Seeing my living space has changed. I went from living with my ex-boyfriend Mason to moving into a house with three other girls to now living in an apartment with two other girls, one of them, you know, being Brittany, who I've remained now roommates with for the past five years. We're going on our fifth lease together once we figure out where we're gonna live again, if it's gonna be here. But this channel has become my outlet to show you who I am, to show you the different stages of my life. And sometimes those stages of life can be very challenging. My roommate Carly, which you guys have seen in multiple videos, her dad was diagnosed with liver cancer in July and last night he passed away. So this is something that really, really touches my heart and it hits me close to home because I lost my dad to cancer too. Um, if anyone's going through something like that from losing a parent, please I will list my losing a parent video. It's a Taylor Tells It All video. Kind of with my experience, how I'm getting through it and just talking to you guys about that sort of stage of my life. So if you are going through that or know someone who's going through that, please share that video so they could kind of know that they're not the only person who is dealing with that sort of heartache. But her dad passed away last night and we knew his cancer was progressive, but it kind of just got worse in the last couple days. So I'm very happy she was able to be with him and he was surrounded by his loved ones and his family and he's no longer in pain. So that's what the best case scenario I could have asked for is that she was able to be there and now he is no longer hurting. So this video is going to be about what to do if you are in the position that I am, that you have a personal relationship with someone who is going through grief right now. Carly is my roommate, but she's also my best friend. She is a sister to me, and so her hurting makes me hurt. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do to make this process a little smoother for her. Right now, I have her laundry going. I'm going to kind of clean up her room a little bit. With her having to go back and forth from her hometown so much, dealing with him being sick and helping him go to treatment, her room kind of was put on the back burner. So I'm doing her laundry, I'm gonna fold her clothes, I'm gonna do her sheets, I wipe down her vanity, and we're just gonna make sure that when she comes home, she has a nice, clear space. Because the last thing you want for someone to deal with is a cluttered, area. You know, she has so much going on in her mind right now that the last thing she needs is a cluttered space. I'm also about to head to the mall. The Polaroid store makes really, really nice $1 printables. She has a clothespin line in her room of Polaroid, so I'm going to get a really nice picture of her and her dad printed out. That's another thing I recommend doing for someone is getting a picture printed out for them. It doesn't have to be expensive. You don't even need to put it in a frame. The Polaroids are so cute and you can just hang them on your wall. Um, you could put it in your car or even if you just go to Walgreens, they're like, 20 cents to get a picture printed out. So it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to do expensive things for people during this time. It's not about money. It's not about gifts. It's just about showing them that you're thinking about them. So that's what I'm doing right now. Throughout this vlog, you're gonna see other tips that I have to share with you as to what you can do to kind of just show that you're there for that person. Make sure you're still prioritizing your health and your well-being. So I made sure I ate a hearty breakfast this morning. I did have two cups of coffee because I need fuel for the day. So let me show you what I ate. I am trying out a new hot cereal from Trader Joe's. This is the organic rice and quinoa hot cereal. So. I have been a big oatmeal enthusiast recently and I figured I would give this a try just 
to switch up my diet. So I paired that with strawberries, there's blueberries, raspberries, and hemp seeds as you can tell. And then I have a big bottle of water in my new Swell reusable water bottle, very excited about that. I have definitely been increasing my water intake since I bought it. And then I'm on to my second cup of coffee because your girl needs it today. The consistency of my breakfast was definitely similar to like a grits, which is a nice hearty kind of alternative to oatmeal. It's not as sweet, so I really enjoyed it this morning. But now we are going to conquer the day. I have things that need to get done. So, as I said in my last video, come along for the ride, that's my mantra. You guys are always there with me through everything I've been through and a situation like this is not any different. I need you guys, you guys are my support system. I know that in return I'm a support system for you. When you're going through something similar, it's nice to see that you can relate to me. So, let's hop in the car, let's start our day and let's see where, let's see where it takes us. I'm scared of being alone with me So I think I'm better off with you tonight Don't let me down, I need you now You're the only darkness to these blinding lights I need those empty bottles turning Dancing closely, I'm still alone Broken glass, turning water, dirty floor, shabby sofa of a mishmash salad for lunch. I have kale underneath there as the base. There's roasted eggplant, roasted cauliflower. I have brown rice, black beans, black refried beans, tomatoes, and what makes the salad is this dressing. It's from Trader Joe's. It's absolutely amazing. This is all the ingredients in it. Highly, highly recommend, and of course, I'm drinking it with some fresh water. So I've got my morning errands finished for the day as you guys can see what I've been up to this morning but I just wanted to show you a little reminder that no matter how bad you think your day is going all it takes is a second for it to turn around so please look at this beautiful weather that we've been blessed with. It's still pretty windy it's still a little frigid but the sun's out and I couldn't be happier about that. Okay, I'm back, and I know I'm getting progressively scarier looking as the clips continue on, but I'm about ready to head to the gym with Brittany, and it's leg day. I'm very excited. I didn't go to the gym on Monday, which is another leg day, because it was New Year's Day, and your girl had to rest. So, didn't make it on Monday, but we are going today, and I will film my workout, so you will see our routine after this clip. But I did want to include tip number three as to a very, very thoughtful gift you can get someone who is going through some loss. So Brittany is gonna take it away because it's actually her gift that she received for Christmas. All right, so this is my little bear. And you can see he's like super nautical looking and that's because it's actually made out of one of my grandpa's shirts. So it's got all the buttons and it's really funny because I feel like every time I saw my grandpa and we'd go out to dinner, he was wearing this. So it was really nice that my aunt decided to pick this particular shirt out to wrap the bear in in order to give it to me. And she included like a sweet card saying, a little extra gift from Grandpa Bob. This bear is made from one of his shirts, so. It was really sweet. I literally opened it up and I was like so stoked Taylor was with me and it just like made my entire day. It was something so sweet to just come back to and he's actually been sleeping in my bed the past couple nights, so. Always go grandpa with me. I don't have a particular website that you can order these bears on, but if you Google um, sentimental gifts for someone who's gone through loss, this pops up. You could get a bear made. I saw a pillow made. And it's just such a nice reminder to have of that person. So I do know um, as some time passes, Brittany and I were thinking about maybe getting Carly one for her dad. 
it's just such a thoughtful gift idea and I think you could do this any year round. It does not have to be specifically when that person has just passed away, but that is a nice time to receive it because it's like, although they might have passed, you'll still always have them with you and I think it's a nice little touch. So definitely keep that in mind. That would be tip number three. Um, we're about to head to the gym, get this workout in, come along. clip but I did want to end the vlog here with my last and final two gift ideas. Brittany and I and my mom we all collaborated together and got Carly and her family a very very nice floral arrangement. We ordered from justforyou.com. Um, one of Brittany's co-workers had used it in the past. What incredible service. It shipped so quickly. We did pay for same day shipping but it arrived in two hours so we were so thrilled about that Carly was really appreciative of the little arrangement we sent her and for the price it was right up our alley so that would be another tip of course you can send flowers to the funeral home or the crematory wherever they're having their services at and then you could also send them to the house as well my last and fifth and final tip doesn't cost a thing and it's to just give that person a hug let them know that you care about them, let them know that you're here for them, that you're an ear if they just wanna talk, that you have arms if they just need a hug. That's really all we need as humans is that human connection and I think someone going through this, that's all they need is just knowing that they have a support system, which is what I am for Carly and for all the others that I will have to be this shoulder to lean on, I'm ready for it. That's what being a friend is for and I took on that duty and I'm here for Carly and her family. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know it was not my usual uh, type of videos that I usually film, but I think that this is something we all go through in life and these are all important lessons we all need to learn. How to cope, how to be a friend, how to deal with grief. That's what I'm here for. That's what this channel is about. You seeing how I experience things and me hearing back how you experience things. So if you have any more tips, any more gift ideas, please leave them in the comments down below so that my viewers can read and we can all learn from each other. I hope you guys are having a great day and until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye.